I met Clay Felker when we were both working at the Herald Tribune. He was the big shot editor, New York Magazine. I was in the women's department, the estrogen zone. But somehow we met, we collaborated on many, many stories, and then we had a whirlwind courtship. 17 years. We got married in his apartment. And I wrote passages. And you know when I wrote passages, I stopped parsing the stages of adult life at 50 because I thought, well, what happens after 50 that's interesting? Then I got to 50 and said, this is great. This is freedom. Time to pursue your passions. And then I got the call. Cancer? My husband has cancer? We don't expect it. No, no one is prepared for it. We don't know how long it's going to take. I had nine months to prepare for the birth of my child. I had about nine hours to prepare for the dependence of my husband. All of a sudden, this master of the universe is reduced to a patient in a Johnny coat. Well, he told me I had a new role, caregiver. Again, we're all going to have this role. I mean, this is the big passage for boomers today. This is a professional level job. It flips the roles upside down. Suddenly, you know, the parents who always took care of you, you're caring for them. Or you're playing God, trying to keep alive the husband or wife that you're attached to. This is hard. I cried on the shoulder of my best friend. I said, I can't do this anymore. You know, we all get here as caregivers. But you have to create a larger circle of care. You can't do it alone. You have to take an hour a day, at least, just for yourself, to replenish. I can help you. I've been there. I've been out around the country. I've talked with thousands of caregivers taking care of parents, sisters, brothers, husbands, wives. We shared our strategies. I can help you turn the chaos of this passage into confidence.